as the name suggests, it basically is enabling the users which are working from anywhere, you know, working from home, working from offices, when they see a problem, when they face a problem, uh, why not give them some guidance, you know, steer them into a direction where they can uh, enable, you know, where they can d resolve some of these issues themselves. So what you're seeing here on the screen is um, a user who has been reported that, hey, you might be facing an issue because of Wi-Fi. Now, think about it. If a user is working from a, say, coffee shop or work from home, uh, how difficult it would be for your IT teams to pinpoint that the issue could be because of poor Wi-Fi. So let's take a look at an example here. What would look what it would look like in a real life? A user is working from home, is having a sluggish experience, and ZCEC, ZDX, which is running as a you know a client in your on your desktop, the exact same uh, client connector which you use for connecting to ZIA, ZPA, ZDX is running right there. It is looking at those problems. It is seeing those problems as well. If the PC is running hot, uh, or, you know, a certain process is consuming too much CPU, it sends a gentle nudge to the user that, hey, it looks like your device is consuming a lot more CPU than normal. That's what it is observing from baseline it is calculating. And not only that, when the user goes ahead and clicks on it, like, tell me more. Uh, I mean, CPU is being consumed. What process is consuming it? What do I need to specifically look at it? ZDX tells that, okay, the CPU is running 100% for a certain duration. And when you click on learn more, or, you know, with maybe 80% or whatever, consistently, what we are seeing here is we also notify the user that there is a, there are certain processes which are consuming more CPU than normal for a longer duration. In this case, we are seeing that the user is probably doing some video encoding or you know, on Adobe or there's some processes running, which the user can probably shut down or kill uh, to get to the optimum performance on, on the device. A similar example, so this was related to more of a device performance. Now, whenever these issues happens, what the normal workflow is user goes ahead, opens the case, right? And these issues by the time IT, you know, does a Zoom session or remote desktop session with the user trying to find out that problem, that problem might have been, have been, you know, gone. So too late to find that problem, you know, until it appears next time for the user. Another example, a user is connected to suboptimal Wi-Fi, you know, poor Wi-Fi. Um, we, since we are there on the user's machine, we are looking at the statistics, the Wi-Fi statistics. We are doing synthetic tests. We can tell that since this user is connected to a certain Wi-Fi, we can tell that they are having a degraded experience. And from there, just like you saw on the previous example, we can guide the user in the right direction. You know, in this case, we are telling the user a more details. Like, like since you, uh, you know, you have connected to a certain access point, certain SSID, uh, your uh, performance has been degraded. You know, so there may be some basic troubleshooting steps in this regard. You know, maybe the user is accidentally connected to a wrong uh, SSID or, you know, uh, some other recommendations could be move closer to the access point or, you know, worst case, reboot the access point or reboot your Wi-Fi router to get to a better performance. Now, you may ask like, all right, is this feature enabled by default? This feature isn't enabled by default. You can, you as a ZDX admin or, or your ZDX admin team, if you'd like, can selectively enable this feature for a group of users. I mean, I was in a meeting, uh, you know, last week and the customer asked that I would like to enable this for my executive users. Can I do that? The answer is yes. You can define self-service to work for executive users, it will work only for them. You can do a slow rollout. But with all of that, what we are showing here that as a ZDX admin, you have a full view of what are the different notifications which have been sent out to the users, which are those users, what, what was the feedback from the end user? Did they find it helpful or not, right? 
And not only that, you can you have the list of all the users, you can click on it and directly go to the user's details page to find out more. 